Karl Rudolf Ernst August Hermann Rinecke was born on February 14, 1888, in Wittenberg, in the German Empire. He joined the German Imperial Army as a cadet in March 1905. He served throughout World War I, where he was awarded the Iron Cross First Class and he was promoted to captain in 1916. He then continued his military service in the Reichswehr with the Army Office of Administration. Infantry Regiment and the Reich Defense Ministry in Berlin. After Adolf Hitler became Chancellor, he served in the Wehrmacht, providing political training on behalf of the Nazi leadership. In January 1939, Rienecke was promoted to Major General as head of an office in the Oberkommando der Wehrmacht, or OKW, and was appointed head of the General Office of the Armed Forces at the OKW in August, 1940. He was also head of the Office for the National Socialist Eschor Führungs of his ear, or NSFO, which consisted of Nazi officers charged with political propaganda in the Wehrmacht. Major Karl August Meinel was moved to the Führer Reserve on August 1, 1942, because on January 13 that year, he wrote a critical report to Hermann Rinecker on the segregation and execution of Soviet prisoners of war in prison camp Stalag 7 by the Gestapo and the Sikkerheitsdienst, or SD, Security Service, of the Reichsführer SS Heinrich Himmler. In 1942, Rienecke was promoted to General of the Infantry. In 1944, following the July 20 coup attempt, Joseph Goebbels tasked him with retaking the Bendler block and he was later an assessor on the judging panel at the People's Court trials of their conspirators. In the High Command trial, as part of the Nuremberg trials after World War II, he was convicted of war crimes and crimes against humanity. As head of the General Office of the Armed Forces, he was responsible for the creation and implementation of the POW policy that resulted in the deaths of around 3.3 million Soviet prisoners of war. The judgment of the International Military Tribunal refers to a September 8, 1941, regulation for the treatment of Soviet prisoners of war in all prisoner of war camps, signed by General Hermann Rienecke, the head of the prisoner of war department of the High Command. These orders stated. The Bolshevist soldier has therefore lost all claim to treatment as an honorable opponent, in accordance with the Geneva Convention. There. Order for ruthless and energetic action must be given at the slightest indication of insubordination, especially in the case of Bolshevist fanatics. Insubordination, active or passive resistance, must be broken immediately by force of arms, bayonets, butts and firearms. Anyone carrying out the order who does not use his weapons, or does so with insufficient energy, is punishable. Prisoners of war attempting escape are to be fired on without previous challenge. No warning shot must ever be fired. The use of arms against prisoners of war is as a rule legal. He was sentenced to life imprisonment. The sentence was reviewed by the Peck panel, and he was released in October 1954. He died on October 10, 1973, in Hamburg, West Germany at the age of 85.